everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing the monthly march pick a card so thank you so much for being patient with this i know this is a little bit late so thank you so much for being here we have group number one group number two and group number three so let's get started in your march predictions so starting off with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading i'm also going to be pulling some charms today and some extra cards so get ready for that so let's get started in your reading. So the first card we have is resilience. There is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So I love this because you've got the card that's actually on the back, <laughs> which is really, really nice. You've got the artwork that's on the back of the, oh, the back of the deck. Sorry guys, I don't know if you could hear any kind of rustling with my microphone. Hopefully you didn't hear that. So the next one we have is movement, lovely. And we also have a time to give rather than take. Beautiful. Okay, so let's put these other cards out. We have all that glitters, number 16. I'm really getting drawn to the number six, guys. So if your number is a number six or the six that seems to be coming up a lot, then keep that in mind. We then have be honest with yourself. And we also have Kunzai, children, third eye and heart chakra. This is lovely. Okay, so... First of all, this is what we're going to be looking at first and then I'm going to move on to the other cards. So in terms of March for you, I really do feel like it's a really good time for you to just kind of take a back seat and kind of just be in your own space for now. I feel like with this time to give rather than take, I feel like it's more about giving to yourself. I feel like you guys have been pushing very hard and whether you've been pushing physically hard or mentally hard, I feel like it's really, really important for you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, to be just really, really gentle to yourself and really kind to yourself. And all that glitters, I'm actually getting a very positive message from this. Normally this is most likely gonna be quite a negative message, but I feel like all that glitters is quite a, a positive message. I feel like some people in your life may be wearing a mask though, but I feel like you're going to be letting go of those people or thinking about letting go of those people. But I feel like it's a message that you're not gonna to go towards something that just looks good. You're going towards something that feels good also. So if some of you guys have been maybe being with people just for like a, on a physical basis, like friends with benefits, that sort of thing or anything like that, I feel like there's not going to be anything more, anything else that's superficial anymore. I feel like it's going to be more about the outcome and <clears throat> I feel like you're not going to be doing things just for the sake of it. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be some communication issues about that's normal for Mercury friggin' retrograde. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really going to be connecting to things that are sustainable, that are long term. And that aren't going to be just because they're pretty or just because they're like an attractive person. It's going to be, you're going to be investing more in your own time where you're actually going to be getting some really nice things out of it. And it's not going to be pushing or stretching. It's going to be like just flowing and letting things happen for a reason and it's actually quite prominently connected to this be honest with yourself because being honest with yourself is a very hard thing to do sometimes but when you get into that zone it's so so easy once you get started you know it's being really honest with who you are and understanding that you're going to do things because you want to do them and you're doing things that are actually good for the long term not just for the temporary short term you know you're investing in things I feel like you're moving towards more nicer people I'm hearing nicer people like people who serve you better and you're moving towards looking after yourself instead of letting other people almost take from you with this Kunzai children third eye and heart chakra this is very much accurate as I, as I was saying very much connected to that third eye and the heart because when you connect your third eye with your heart chakra you can you'll open up to infinite possibilities in terms of your psychic abilities like you're really going to be connecting to your intuition this month and in terms of children, some of you may be thinking about children or connecting with children, could even be like starting a, like work with children, something like that. But I also feel like it's connecting with your inner child. And with that third eye and heart chakra together, it's actually understanding and listening to yourself rather than just ignoring yourself and being like, oh no, you know, everything that I'm thinking is just not true, you know. So I'm going to pull some tarot and some astro cards. So let's do that now. I'm going to do some live shuffling today because I just felt the need to do that. So we have the Three of Swords. So that's you kind of releasing that. I feel like you're you're learning to release this that no longer serves you anymore. Okay, the Devil and the Two of Two of Cups. Exactly. So this is literally, as I said, you're moving away from that toxicity. But also, you guys could be 
moving into a partnership that's very, very like sexual and intimate. Three of Pentacles, lovely. So as I said, I definitely feel like some of you could be working with children. Um, you could be working on your connection with your inner child and working on your connection with children just in general. And you're learning to balance out with this Three of Pentacles, which is absolutely lovely. So let's have a look at the astro cards and see what's coming through these for the astrology. Wow, that was quick. We have Aquarius, which is lovely. That's really, really beautiful. So very, very spiritual. That's just so, so stunning. I love that so much. Let's see what else we have. Lovely expansion. Beautiful. Oh my God, I love that. So beautiful, some lovely energy where you're really kind of expanding. You're being very authentic. Aquarius is a very, very authentic. And I feel like you're really tapping into that energy. And with this expansion, it's very much connecting to the, the freedom that you're going to feel in this month. You're really connecting to your own self and nobody else is kind of getting in the way, which is lovely. Oh my God, perfect. Action. So there's definitely going to be a lot of physical action this, this month. There's going to be maybe some sexual activity. But also for some of you guys who aren't obviously that age or who aren't really looking for that, or maybe who are more into kind of work at the moment, I do feel like for a lot of you, there's going to be a lot more physical outward kind of movement instead of just that inner, inner movement. I think some of you guys are like, yes, finally, because a lot of us have been very, very still and stuck because we've been working on our inner world and now it's time to move in the outer world and it's time for that movement and we also have fourth house roots so a lot of you guys could be moving house some of you guys could be very much moving house okay so let's have a look at your charms okay guys so sorry if the orientation of the shot changed like a little bit i had to charge my battery so let's have a look at your charms and let's see what charms are going to represent the month of march so let's have a little look Beautiful, okay. We'll pick a couple more. Okay. So it's funny how we've got two trees here. So trees are about growth. So this is all about transforming and growing. So there could be somebody who is gonna be very influential for you in March that will help you grow as well. So I really, really love that. I'm going to just zoom you in a little bit just so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, we also have the little grenade, which is something explosive happening, which is really, really good. So something amazing is going to happen in terms of like a connection coming in or just something that you've wanted for a long, long time is going to happen for you. We also have this little bunny. He's like, he's got, this, this is a really random charm. This rabbit playing tennis. So maybe you're going to be playing tennis. Maybe this is like a new routine that you're going to do. Maybe you're going to start like a new kind of exercise thing. We also have the unraveled flower. So lots of new romance is gonna unravel. So I do see some new romance coming in for you if that's what you're looking for. We then have the clover, which is very, very lucky, a lucky month. We then have the tortoise or turtle. So it could be to do a water sign or you could be near water as well. So the owl is all about wisdom as well. And this is all about kind of opening up and understanding new things from a different perspective. So this is definitely linked with this key here. So you're really kind of looking at a new perspective. So whenever we get the marble, this is all about the world. So definitely a new start for you guys. And then we, oh, it puts a little guy there. And then we also have the butterfly or the moth and the peace sign. So there's definitely going to be a massive element of transformation here and element of peace and serenity and it's just absolutely gorgeous so if you like this video don't forget to uh, like and comment down below please subscribe if you would like to also if you'd like a private reading with me all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon have a lovely march group one bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading so let's see what's happening for you in march okay so we have the lovely card back on task be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider reviewing your goals, your schedule or a project you are working on or could use some fine tuning. So it could be something that you're overly working on. You could be kind of doing overdoing it maybe, but we're going to have a little look and see. We also have spend time with friends. Yeah, so maybe it could be that you're overworking um, or not really taking care of yourself. Okay, so we also have show the world the real you. Yes, yeah, so there's definitely an element of I'm moving away from the old and into the new. There's quite a lot of purple here as well, I'm noticing. So it's a lot to do with your spirituality. It's a lot to do with your, um, yeah, your spirituality, your third eye. 
Okay, we also have a leg up, lovely, the little polar bear, that's really cute. We then have kick up your heels. And we also have fluorite, spirit guides. Yeah, exactly, so definitely a lot of spirit guides around you this month. Okay, so we're gonna have a look into this a little bit more detail in just a second. Um, we're gonna have a look into the tarot and things in a minute. So, for you guys, I really feel like it's a lot to do with making sure you're not overdoing it and being too hard on yourself if it's overworking it's if, if it's doing too much schoolwork, if it's you know not having enough fun i feel like you guys really need to have more fun because i feel like you guys are really kind of in the element of i have to do work 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 all the time or maybe you're just not really balanced out at the moment maybe you're just kind of tired and just need a rest you know you don't actually have to do anything you can just have a rest and have a break so this month is all about kind of working with your own timeline. And this is basically about making sure you're not overdoing it, you're not overworking. And a leg up could also be that you're going to have somebody who's going to help you this month with a work endeavour or maybe in a romantic partner. It may be something to do with that. But it feels more to do with kind of friendship and co-workers. So I do feel like this is more to do with somebody helping you out. It could be a friend who may give you some advice that is going to be really, really helpful. And also show the world the real you is really, really interesting because I definitely feel like this this element here is mainly about you being your most authentic self and the way you can do that is spending time with friends and being your authentic self and just being who you are and very much kind of connecting with your own personality and not letting anyone kind of overrule that. Also you may be looking for a job this month and this is definitely the good time to do it. It's about doing things that make you feel good and maybe you're going to do doing some art maybe doing some tarot with your girlfriend or something it's so cute how this oracle card has oracle cards on it like here it's really really cute so i definitely feel like you guys are really need you to just chill and just relax and do something that makes you feel good and makes you feel like it's fun you know and it says make sure you're using your time in the best possible manner so there may be an element of wasting time, or it might be the opposite. You may be kind of not putting enough time into your work, you know. There's something there that maybe you're avoiding, but we're going to have a look into that in a little bit more detail. So let's have a look at the tarot, and then we're going to have a look into your charms after we've looked into the cards. Lovely. Yeah, so it's exactly what I said. It's just balancing yourself out, and I do feel like there is going to be other people who are going to help you with this as well. Yeah, so you just need to have more fun. You just need to kind of relax and just set yourself back. Make sure you're not overdoing it. Make sure you're not, um, yeah, tiring yourself out because you guys want something new. You guys want to move somewhere new. And for some of you guys, it could literally be moving house. But I feel like for a lot of you, it could be just prepping to move house as well. Beautiful. So we've got the key of cups. So there could be a partner coming in. Oh, let's drop the card. Hold on a sec. Okay, so it could be a partner coming in, but you're not really too sure about this person. It could be a water sign. But it could also be you reluctantly not wanting someone to help you. Um, but I do feel like you're ending that old cycle right now. You're kind of trying to move out of being on your own, being working by yourself. And you're moving into some more somebody else helping you out. And I do feel like this could be a love offer. Whenever I see the King of Cups, it's a very, very like strong love offer. It could mean also that, especially if you are a male, it could mean, or you identify as a male, that you are very connected with your, um, with travel and you're very connected with your work and you feel really happy about it. Um, for some of you guys, you could be, as I say, reluctant to, to this change, but it's actually a really, really good change. So if there's any change coming in or any new people coming in, let them in, guys, because I really feel like it's going to be really, really good for you, okay? So let's see what else we have in the month of March. Beautiful dreams. I keep getting this card. I think it's because of the, all the Pisces energy coming in, because Neptune rules Pisces. So... This is very much about you having dreams and they, as I say, there could be something that you want to work on, like a project or something that you haven't really kind of stuck to yet, but I feel like you're really going to kind of connect to that. And with this dreams card, it's really, really making me feel like you guys are going to be doing something you've always wanted to do and your dreams are coming true. You know, you've been working hard on yourself and now it, you're getting what you have been putting out. So with this Taurus and um, complexity... It feels like you're not wanting to relax if you're having quite a hard time doing that. So I do feel like it's just really, really important for you to just get out of the house sometimes and just take time out for yourself, even if it's like like half an hour, an hour. And even if you could do this every day, that's great, like an exercise regime or eating something really, really nice or something like that. 
So with this roots card, I definitely feel like a lot of you are moving house for sure. That's I'm definitely gonna feel that. I'm, I'm feeling that really, really strongly. For a lot of you guys, you could be meeting somebody um, when you're moving away from home, or you could even be meeting somebody near your home. You know, like a partner sort of thing, like a new person. Wow, that's gorgeous. So for a lot of you guys, you could be Cancerians. You could be water signs or Taurus sun. Um, but for this, this is very, very positive. This is all about things opening up and new experiences happening and your heart is coming out of this shell now. Wow, I love that. I love that. That's really beautiful. That was such a gorgeous message that just came through. Just your heart is really, really opening. Let me have a heart here. Um, you, your heart is really, really opening and you're really being called to kind of draw more towards your heart and open that up so you can meet new people. So let's give this a good old shake a Rudy. Sorry if it's loud, guys. Okay. Gonna do a good old, good old lot for you guys. Okay, I wanna pick out some star signs as well without looking. Okay, got two there. Okay, so we have other star signs we have here or just signs are Cancer and we also have Aries. So that's interesting how we have the Cancerian card here also. So we have some butterflies here. So this is all about transforming. You're no longer feeling small. You're no longer feeling like you can't do things that you want to do. You're really feeling confident enough to do those. You're unlocking a lot of things inside of you and there's somebody else who's going to help you do this because we've got the key and we've got some locks as well. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit guys so you can see a little bit closer. Um, we also have the uh, skull here which is a death card which is what we had here with death. So it's definitely old, ending old cycles which is lovely. So that's beautiful. I love that energy. Very scorpionic. We actually have that twice. So you could be meeting somebody who's also going through the exact same thing as you. Okay, so we have the dolphin, which is all about a water sign coming in. And we have the swans here. So this is the ultimate soulmate coming in. So for some of you guys, you could be meeting your soulmate this month. We then have the pegasus, which is all about kind of opening up movement forward. And we have um, a feline and also a crown right next to it. So it feels like you're going to feel like a queen this month or a, a king. You know, your, your feminine side is really, really coming out. So I feel like you're going to feel really, really happy about that. And I just noticed we have two dolphins. So you're definitely going to be meeting somebody who's like you. Also, if you're a water sign, you could be meeting another water sign. We have the hand, flower, the leaf. It's all about spirituality, uh, new things coming in, new things falling on your lap and anchoring anchoring new things into place and long-term long-term things coming in with this anchor Let's see if there's anything else no i think i think that's it guys also monday could be quite a significant day for you this month so thank you so much for watching guys if you want to please subscribe to my channel all the information is down below for private readings and i'll speak to you very soon much love Hello group number three, let's get started with your reading. So let's see what you have. So you guys had three of these cards, so let's see. We have disengage from outcomes. Let go so you can open yourself to the highest love that you deserve. Find ways to release worry or any, any unresolved lack of forgiveness you might be holding on to. Beautiful. We then have total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest or goal. Give 100% of your energy and you may find what life has been lacking. These are so pretty. They're like all whale kind of orientated or like, or dolphin. I think yeah, they're both, both whales, yeah. And then we have mutually beneficial venture. There is an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this moment. Utilize this, this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So I think I know why the clownfish are in this because I think the clownfish are very much connected to the, oh, I can't remember what it's called, the anen anemone. It's, it's, it's that word that's in Finding Nemo that the that Nemo can't pronounce. <laughs> anen anemone? I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably saying some sort of something really dodgy right now, but... This is about kind of connecting to whatever feels right for you. So if you've got a connection, really, really utilize it. All oh, these cards are so freaking stunning. I love anything to do with water. It's like my water, my wateriness is really coming out. So we then have rest, which is lovely. This is very much connected to that, actually. We then have bring love into the situation. Round and round. Inner power. And Prenite, release, declutter, heart chakra. So we're gonna have a look at these cards first and then we're gonna have a look into a little bit more detail. 
So with this disengage from outcomes, this is really interesting because it says disengage from outcomes, but then also don't be afraid to totally submerge in a project. So what is basically happening is they want you to just do a project without knowing what the outcome is. There isn't any kind of, oh, I have to do this to get money or I have to do this to, to make sure it's perfect. You know, it could be painting, it could be writing, journaling. Um, it could be even looking for a new job without even really kind of, waiting for a job it's like you're you're possibly looking for jobs but also focusing on a project so you're not fully fully over the top over like over it so you're not kind of stressing yourself out it's just basically connecting to something that makes you feel good but also not worrying about the outcome you know just doing it for fun you know and with this mutually beneficial venture there's pro there's possibly going to be a relationship or there could be a relationship of some sort that could be helping you with this new venture so it could be somebody to do with money it could be it could be a friend it could be a partner it could be a new partner coming in if you're single you know it could just be somebody who you I don't feel like you're going to expect this though I feel like you're not going to expect the help for a lot of you guys I think you like to kind of work on your own or you like to to do things by yourself without having any help so I feel like this is going to be quite an interesting dynamic for you but it is going to be really, really nice. So it's interesting how we've got 31 and 32. So I do feel like this is very much connected to that project. And we just have 48 here and 43. So look out for those numbers if they are significant for you. So with Brig Love in... Wow, my throat is just so weird. Bring love into the situation. You really need to kind of rest for a lot of you guys. So in terms of disengagement outcomes, for a lot of you guys, you could be really stressing out over something not cultivating or happening. You really just need to rest and just know that everything's going to be okay and the universe has your back, okay? Um, and with this round and round, if you feel like you're going round in circles or things are just not moving for you or basically things are just the same as they were a few years ago, they are feeling better, guys. They're just maybe having to just clear out, you know, and you're possibly being called to just kind of bring up your inner power and really kind of connect to yourself. And there could be some emotions that need to come up, especially with this moon and my throat is really, really hurting. So it could be something that needs to be said. Um, or there could just be emotions that are just kind of removing themselves in the background and you're like, why is nothing happening? And it's literally just, just your subconscious is releasing and decluttering a lot of old things that happened in the past that really, really affected your heart. Could be old relationships. I feel like for a lot of you, it's old relationships that need to kind of go. Um, so you could be releasing that as well. Okay. So let's have a look for these cards. We have a key of oh, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, you could be kind of thinking about what sort of job you want to do or if there's any sort of project that you're working on, that could, that could be a focus as well. So you could be just really thinking about it and not really kind of being attached to a kind of where do I need to go. You're being very creative. It's very important to be creative this month. King of Pentacles, bring love into the situation. So you could be meeting a earth sign and it could be quite an interesting dynamic because you might think, oh, they're probably somebody just... It's probably going to be like it was in the past. So you're going to have to really be kind to yourself and be like, it's okay. Like we, I'm going to support you. You know, I'm going to support you. And um, this is happening for a reason. We then have the world card. Beautiful. Definitely a new start for a lot of you guys who've chosen this group. A lot of new people coming in this, this, this month. I feel like definitely a partner coming in. Ending old cycles. Beautiful. Starting a new one. Could be an air sign also coming in. The sun. Stunning happiness and we also have stability as well so wherever you're working on there's definitely something stable coming in and it could be somebody who's quite far away or you could meet somebody through travel okay so let's see what other cards we have let's see what else group three can expect yep exactly the moon that's what i was focusing on in this card with this gorgeous moon here um there's a lot of emotions that are coming up and you may feel quite emotional this month but just rest and know that it's okay and bring love towards it just say i acknowledge part of me feeling whatever you're feeling i acknowledge part of me feeling sad about my past and i choose to release i i can i can always forget the last bit i choose to release these feelings right now and then you breathe in breathe out put your hand on your heart and look kindly at yourself like you would a little puppy and yeah that, that's all you need to do you just need to keep releasing these feelings as they come up and know they're sacred and know they're there for a reason beautiful opportunity yes yeah, so all these emotions are coming up for a reason guys they're here to bring you opportunities for the future they're here to open doors for you and to open your creativity because you're like a snowflake <laughs> and you're you're someone who's completely individual you're not like anyone else and there's no need to compare yourself to anyone expansion perfect this is all the cards i want to see beautiful this is what group 
group two had as well, sun being exactly, we have the sun here as well. So there's definitely expansion with yourself, like expansion on your personality, like whatever you're releasing, it's all for the benefit of, and it's good for you. And you're releasing this, you're releasing this horrible guilt tripping energy that you've been putting yourself in, you're releasing that self-sabotage, any sort of thing that you feel guilty or horrible about, that is all going now, guys. That is all being released, okay? And there's an opportunity now to release it and you're really being submerged because that's why they're asking you and telling you to kind of be in a project because they want you to kind of release all this energy and not to focus on it. We then have Libra, which is all about balance and could be to do with a relationship, a partnership as well coming in or could be connecting with a Libra sun. So let's have a look at your charms today, guys. Let's see what's coming in for my lovely group number three. Give us a nice little shake up. Sorry about the noise. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can grab the star sign here. Okay, we've got quite a few charms, so I'm just going to kind of skim them. That's funny, we've got Libra again. <laughs> That's so cute, I'm gonna plop that little guy there. So we have, let's have a look, we've got two butterflies beautiful a lot of transformation you guys need to have some more fun we've got the little mickey mouse key so it's having more fun we've got three oh my god we have so many keys we have four keys we have a, an apple so you guys could be starting a new job you guys could be uh, working at a school you could be working with children so you're feeling more wise with the owl and another butterfly here so you are exiting the premises in terms of this death energy. So you're really kind of ending old cycles, which is lovely. And the day of Thursday could be very, very prominent for you. We have music, so look out for any type of music that really sparks your interest or anything that possibly is a message for you. So we have quite a few roses. There could be two masculine energies coming in. They also have two uh, flowers as well. Could be three people who you meet who are really, really significant this month. Could be like having a whole massive new friendship group we also have the uh, elephant which is all about travel i always think of thailand when i see the elephant we then have the tree which is all about growth we have love twice which is beautiful so a lot of you guys can be meeting your soulmate these swans are all about soulmate energy so because so because sw i think swans make for life so it's that sort of energy of something concrete coming in we also have i don't know what is this is a spade no it's not a spade I don't know, but it kind of reminds me of like hierarchy. So you could be moving up in your job. We also have, I feel like a lot of you guys are actually moving away from your job and moving in and feeling like more of like in control in a new job. Could be your own uh, work as well. Could be your own career. Could be a, you're being self-employed. We then have the starfish, which is all about watery energy. So you can be meeting a water sign here. Um, and we also have the cross. So for a lot of you guys, you could be maybe um, going towards a new religion, or you could be exiting an old religion, you know, you could be exiting old beliefs about yourself as well. And we also have two elephants, there could be somebody who you meet who wants to travel with you, and maybe you haven't traveled before, and this person opens you up to travel, and you're like, oh my god, why have I never done this before? We also have the, um, the sorry, the cat, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're opening up your feminine side, and you could be connecting with cats as well this month, you could be just be very much connecting with that cat energy um, of like the feline, of being very kind of independent and resourceful and quite sassy, <laughs> quite sassy. There's gonna be a lot of unraveling to do with love and relationships this month, so keep that in mind, guys. But that's what I see for you guys. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please feel free. The subscribe button is down below. Also, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below in the description box. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.